So do I have to phone the police? Why would you do that? Because it's we've got crime. members of staff that are saying that you are here visiting video in our premises. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here in Wolverhampton taking a look at this place. There's just stacks and stacks of royal mailboxes outside with a few skips. There is no sign on the building at all. And it feels like a private road, but I have checked this time and it's definitely maintained at the public expense, Planetary Way. Oh, Planetary Road, Wolverhampton. It's next door to Cooper Coated Coil. And you'll see what I mean. The number of Royal Mailboxes here for letters is ridiculous. And these are all the property of Royal Mail. They're very useful. They're being stored upside down so they don't hold water. And if you see inside, they've got even more look. Look at all them. Maybe Royal Mail are paying to have them stored here. I don't know. But this is very unusual. So let's see if we can find a name for this company. First of all, what have we got on the door? Oh yeah, we've got a name. William Gibbons and Sons. William Gibbons and Sons. Let's Google that. So William Gibbons is specialist in printing, magazines, catalogues, direct mail, finishing and mail enclosing. William Gibbons is a family owned and run web and sheep fed printer and fulfillment house with a proud record of over 148 years of continued service. We have invested heavily in the latest state of the art equipment to ensure that we remain at the leading edge of technology. Okay, privately run organization not answerable to outside shareholders. Looks like some sort of shredder which gets sucked through there and then compacted into the skip. And once again, William Gibbons and Sons. But look, no sign on the outside at all. A Royal Mail York there with some Royal Mail bags for the mail. ESCO. And more of these Royal Mailboxes here where the lady was having her cigarette. They bring the piece of cardboard out so their bum doesn't get wet on the little puddle. <laughs> and they've got lots of these barrels where they just put their cigarette butts look. Some of them have made it onto the ground, onto our public highway, but at least they're trying, you know. And now this vehicle's moved out of the way, we get to see even more of them. Hundreds and hundreds of them, isn't there? And I wonder whether this is the magazine that they print. Your horse. £4.75, if you was wondering. What are you after, mate? Nothing. What are you filming over there for? Just filming. For what? Just filming for a video. For who? For me. For? You're asking quite a lot of questions, my friend, who are you? Because I work here and I just need to know what, to what you're filming for. You want to know, you don't need to know. But... Well, I'll go back inside and I'll speak to the management. Who are you, sorry? I work here. Yeah, who are you? I'm supervising this shift yeah. at the moment. Okay. Uh, what time do you finish? You don't need to know that. See what I mean? I just tried to ask a question I asked you a that's question. quite you private to you. What I'm doing right now is quite well, private to me. You're filming the business? So what? So what do you need to film me for? Because I'm making a video well, about, about well, the company. Well, William yeah. Gibbons. They want to know everything, don't they? 
But when you start asking questions to them, they're quite reluctant. We just want to have a good look, a good nosy, at what you've left out for us to see, that's all. What's that say? Windsor, Windfall, Mandalas, I don't know. They look very busy anyway. Yeah. Very, very busy. Small bits that have blown out into the fence. Some sort of catalogue. So they're definitely printing. But what are they doing with these boxes? Are we going to find out or not? Stacks and stacks of Royal Mail sacks in there as well. Lots of Royal Mail property just sitting here. Can you tell me why you're videoing our premises with our staff on? Because you haven't got any right to video our staff. Where's the staff? Yeah, but they're coming in and out. You're, are you a staff member? Yes, I am. You're on the video now. Can you tell me why you are busy? <laughs> yeah, I'm making a YouTube video about for your what? company. For uh, our company, for what reason? Well, I make YouTube videos, yeah. which then pays me money because people watch them and I get paid. Okay, so you have the right to video any premises with any people present in those videos. Yeah, do you know when I was filming there, did you see any people? Can you see any no, people I there? Can't see no, any people. So, but I've just why had you someone focusing? come up to the office telling us that you are videoing. Are you, can you show me you've got no members of staff? No, I can't. You're on it, you're a member of staff, you're on the video. Yeah. Anyone walk, that walks by or comes and talks to me, you're on the video. Well, can you tell me why you're continuing the video? To make money. So, do I have to phone the police? Why would you do that? Because it's we've got crime. members of staff that are saying that you are here visiting video in our premises. They're correct, I'm videoing the premises. What's wrong with that? Because they are our premises. Yeah, I'm not taking them. You can keep them. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure we can keep them. You know what I mean? Do you know the Google streetcar that came round and filmed the premises? And you can the road, drag them out? Yeah. And the building. That's, yeah. that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I will phone someone now then to make sure that you have do you think the it's right a, to do that. Do you think it's uh, illegal or something? Well, I'm not sure. I don't oh, know right, okay. what is right and what I thought, is wrong. I thought you like knew. That. I thought you were trying to tell me that I'm doing something wrong. No, I'm telling you that we have. I have just been reported that you are filming our business. Yeah. And I'm not sure why, other than to make some money. Why didn't you say to them, what's wrong with that? Because I don't know whether it's right or wrong. Well, there Which we are. Which is why I'm saying I'm going to have to phone someone to find out whether that's right or wrong. If it, I... if it was wrong, would Google have done it? Possibly not, but do they have different rights? I mean, I, I have no idea as to whether people have the right to not be on camera if they don't want to be on camera. Who's, telling, or... who's saying people are on camera? Well, you just said I am. Oh, you are? You're, exactly. the, you're the star of the show so yeah. far. So, What's your name? Michelle. Michelle, nice to meet you. Are you in charge of William Gibbons? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm a member of staff. I know you do printing, right? I don't want to know anything commercially sensitive, but why the need for so many raw mailboxes? Do you put your stuff in them? Or what? I'm not answering any questions. Why? That makes me suspicious. Because I don't know who you are. I don't know where you're from. I don't know whether what you. you're doing... If you want to know, I can tell you. What, we're, ...what you're meant to be doing. So... Let's get some things straight, right? This road here mm -hmm. is a council road, yeah? Anyone can use it. Agreed? Correct. Yeah. So People are up and down this road all day long, all night long. Photographers as well, coming up and down, taking photos of anything? I have no idea. I've never seen them before. All I'm doing is I've been reporting no that problem. you were here. Michelle, you're very polite. Let's assume photographers are allowed, yeah? Because it's a, a public road and it's a, a lawful activity of photography, yeah? Let's just say it's allowed. Now. When I go round my industrial estates doing that, and I see something a little bit... Why does someone want to see a money. building? For, for money. For money. But why are they watching YouTube videos for watching a building? Okay, there's specific niches, yeah? So an industrial estate YouTuber, 
that's me, an industrial estate YouTuber who goes around industrial estates all day and anything slightly unusual, I make a 20 minute video about it, yeah? The unusual thing here is the high volume of Royal Mail stuff, right? Now, at first I thought you might make them. No, I don't. If you use them, or Royal Mail have asked you to store them, that explains it. There's an innocent explanation, isn't there? But if you're holding more than you need here, it takes it away from other people in the Royal Mail network that need it. Because they're short of these boxes, did you know that? I have no idea. So, My business is upstairs doing paperwork. Yeah, yeah. And I can see they're, they're being stored upside down, so they're not holding water, which is great, keeping them in good condition. So there's a lot of things happening on industrial estates that are quite interesting. So I just put them into... I personally just don't see it as to why people want to see what's going on. I just put I interesting place. things into the public eye that are happening on industrial estates. And you find it interesting that we have some... Well, the, the viewers find it interesting. So you can see why I'm doing it. The things I find are interesting for the people that can't get out and about. When people like yourself come up and think it's wrong, that's also entertaining. When the police come, that's also entertaining. Everything's great. When people get hands-on and want to fight, that's really good. <laughs> and people sit there and watch this all day. As I showed you. In the past 30 days, we've had 3 million views. 6,000 more people have subscribed. That's how much money we've earned. The comments are coming through all the time. 35 minutes ago, we went to the Big Brother house. Security tried to intimidate drone operator. I take a drone over as well because sometimes we can't see in the backyard. So I, I take the drone over. Because sometimes I say, can I have a look around? They say, no, you can't come on the land. So I always stay out on the road and I just take the drone over and have a look around. So that's where we are. Hopefully everyone else is going to be as nice as you. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Your vending machine in here, the front of it's all smashed. I need to get a new one ordered to sew it. So if you pay attention to yourself, you're getting sent to remove uh, the no, Oh, well, obviously, it's to be delivered and then we'll come back here with the sand or the day after, so will it, where would it be delivered to the machine? Well, I haven't seen it, but if you're telling me... Yeah, it's all smashed, yeah. When it's your machine, anyway? Yeah, well, somebody here smashed it up, so, yeah, so we've just got to get it sent to so, so we can... Right, okay. Well, you'll have to, you'll have to go there, but yeah, yeah. the office is pretty simple. Poor hip so you've just recorded that gentleman? Yeah, that's an interesting conversation. Someone's got angry. Okay. Do you know when you're in public, mm -hmm. yeah. anybody can be recorded because there's no right to privacy in a public place. So if you're in the city centre, people are filming. The King's Coronation, for example, they were beaming people live, weren't they? On tele. All these people out in public that are now on the tele, probably bunking off from work to we'll see the King get coronated. Um, do you think you're within your rights? One last thing about the Royal Mailboxes. Come on, give me a clue. I have no idea. Do you put your magazines in them? I have no idea. I don't work in production. All right. Okay. If Royal I don't Mail, see what the fans... if Royal Mail wanted the to collect them, then they can have them back, yeah. Well, they're the property, I believe, of the Royal because they've got Royal Mail written on them. Yeah. And maybe that well, will do you a favour. It will clear up some space for you as well. What's your position in the company? I'm in finance. Right, OK. So I have nothing to do with production. Right. Have you never wondered why there's so many? They're all in your, in your warehouse as well. Not like the YouTubers. I'm not interested in everything. Right, OK. Very busy person. Not to be that Are your interested accounts payable? In. A bit of everything. Oh, receivable as well? It depends on what the day calls for. Right. OK, so you chase money. Do people pay you on 30 days or are they stretching it out nowadays? 120? That's, no, that is nobody else's business. I used to do a similar busy. job and it's a bit of a mission. But I used to be payable, so I used to pay the invoices. Just for you with a good day. Yep. But okay. the directors do want you to stretch it out. You know, they do want you to not pay too quick. Uh, 
Yeah, no, anyway. We, we pay to terms, we do exactly as we're meant to do, but... Right, some labels. I like to read the labels as well, so see who the customers are. But that's data protection. Yeah, but you've left it out. Paul Hipgrave. Well, that, that's not, that's not uh, customer, that's you. That's the guy you mentioned. See, when you... when you mentioned? In... Yeah, Paul Hipgrave. What does it say? Paul... Pull up. Paul Hip Grove. Right, okay. I will move you Alright. So there's the Coca Cola machine through the window. Somebody uh, got a bit crossed with the machine and broke the front. So I presume soon they are going to close these shutters, so I don't really want them to be doing that. So. Let's just crack on with the drone flight. Let's see what William Gibbons looks like from above. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area at all. William Gibbons. Let's have a look at you then, shall we? So there's general waste in the skips. We have got some magazines in there. We'll be taking a look at that shortly. But do they have a yard? Don't think so. There's three units dedicated to printing, I believe. We've got the gentleman in the forklift looking at us right now. And the forklift does have a number plate on it. Well done. Let's shoot over to the other end of the units. Let's see what's down the back. No, it's just gonna be a fire exit. Nothing at all. So Louise was based in this building here, it seems. In finance. Which explains why they are using that as a designated smoking area. Staying well away from the paper. So let's have a quick look inside of this skip before we get the drone back and let's see what other magazines we can spot. So in the skip, I don't know if you can recognize any of this. Black Friday. Stock check. Nothing of major interest, I'm afraid. But you get a good view of all the Royal Mailboxes. Louise couldn't explain it, could she? Mmm, you have so many of them, but you decline to comment. What do you think? So whilst I'm up here, I'll do something useful for them. I'll let them know that their gutters Ah. Okay. Should we have a quick look to see what the downpipe's like? Is it blocked? No. Looking quite good in your gutters. So we've done at least one useful thing for the company. And the state of your roof is exactly like this. So the location of the DJ Audit's keyring on this video is just there. If you're one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a keyring, good luck with that. And that just leaves the goods that they're loading onto this vehicle here out on the public highway. Can we see what these are before we leave? All that's visible really. Is this pattern on the side? Oh, we have, we've got Being Vegan magazine. So there you go. And we will even be able to see where these magazines are going to because there is a label. These are going to Classic Rock Platinum Series 60. 
men's is distribution. Coventry. So there we have it. Video complete. I do like these businesses that are located bang on a council maintained road. You get right up close and personal and the staff really do think they have some authority over you but unfortunately you don't and especially when you're going to leave so many royal mailboxes in view of course it's going to prompt questions now there might be an innocent explanation for it all but the only person we spoke to couldn't give one could she if i do see anybody else can you hear me mate can you hear me what are the Royal Mailboxes used for? What? The Royal Mailboxes, what are they used for? Why are you asking? Royal Mail, property. Well, why are you asking? I can't give you the kind of information. Is it dodgy, is it? Is what? it? Is it dodgy? No. All oh, right, okay. I just can't say I'm not like manager or anything. Just... Okay, yeah. Sorry, it, it sounds like it's a bit dodgy going no, on. No, it's just, just using for sending uh, books to Royal Mail. Through, through Royal Mail. Trucks come over, loading the... Uh, Boxes and that's it. But you send all your stuff out palletized. No, not all of them. Not always. Some of it goes loose. No, oh. it's like in Yorkies and boxes. They got like a Yorkie stuff. Yeah. They so put it in there and then trucks comes over, they're loading the uh, Yorkies on there and then goes through them out. Individual magazines get sent to the customer. Yeah. Nice one, mate. Don't be harsh, Louise. Be nice to him. It's a very good rep representation of Williams and Gibbons. Have I, I said it? I, I, all our staff are he was, good I, representations of William Gibbons. William Gibbons. Is it still and Sons? Or is it just William Gibbons? I'm going to refrain from speaking. Okay, anymore. okay. What he said was sometimes they ship out the magazines, it goes to the customer. So you use Royal Mail and they get placed inside those. But I thought a big company like yours would just send stuff out palletized. But if you do sort of drop ship using Royal Mail to collect then you will need them. I don't think you do that type of thing at, at the minute, but you may do in the future. So you may need these. I don't know. It just seems unusual to me. And the fact that you want to stay silent as well, it's just very suspicious. Sometimes people are just because so you open are and honest. Me, they my permission you are going to put me on YouTube. So yeah. I'm afraid I don't want to speak to you. Some companies, they provide the staff, including you, with a designated smoking area on site, which is not only sheltered, but it's secluded. It's not, you, you ain't visible to the public, you know what I mean? But unfortunately, your company haven't provided that to you. They've stuck it out here for anyone to I've see. I've chosen to come out here to have me a cigarette. This I is... I you not to be harassing me no. or any of the stuff. You, <laughs> you have the right to film the building. Yeah, and ask and questions. you have the right to do that, and, and you have the right. The staff, yeah, you, you have do. To answer any questions you no, have to them. they don't have to answer, but I have the right to ask a question, which is in the public interest. Obviously, you mentioned the word harass, right? I'm going to leave you alone because you've said that. I don't. I get a little bit of stick to keep on talking to someone who don't want to talk. So, have a nice day, Louise. It's Michelle, but yeah. Oh, is it? <laughs> I'm crap with names. You carry on talking to me now, you know. <laughs> See you later. Oh, I'm so rubbish with names. But here's Royal Mail now. I know that the trolleys are called Yorks. Sorry? The trolleys are called Yorks, aren't they? Yeah. What are the boxes called? The grey the boxes? The grey boxes, per stops. Per stops. How do you spell that? E-R-S-T-O-P-S, I presume. Okay. And this company um, obviously give goods to you in pair stops, do they? Because they've got shitloads, haven't they? Oh, uh, sometimes we do. Sometimes it's just sacks and stuff. Yeah. I would have thought days. nowadays it's just sacks coming out of here because their stuff is palletized, isn't it? They go straight onto the lorry. But f do, do, do you ever collect stuff in purse stops from here? Yeah, yeah. Really? But it's, but it's normally only a couple. Like, yeah, why have they got, they've got thousands, haven't they, outside? Have you noticed? It's 
to be honest, it's ten more round, so I'm, oh. I'm just covering it for somebody. Oh, so. Just cast your eyes forward. Yeah. You, you can see there's a good few hundred there. Yeah. Now behind. Some more down there as well. I would say there's about two thousand right just there. Now, if if the regular driver only collects let's say ten a day, I would say they only need maybe a month's worth. Right? Is there a shortage of pair stops through your Royal Mail network? You can't afford thousands just to be sitting here, really, can you? Do you know what? I never, never, never think about it. We've always got some floating around in there, so... But do you think they're getting them made? Because when, when they run out, they get more made, so it seems like to you they've always got loads available. We've got a few available, no, no more, no less than when I first started. I've been there over 10 years. Do you see new ones entering the chain, or...? No, well, in our place, most of them are all old, battered ones, to be fair to you. So you, you keep on seeing old ones. Look at all them. See all that? No, that's ridiculous. What do you think? Well, if they want to keep them, they keep them. No, no, I don't know. no I'm going to make contact with Royal Mail, just to let them know how many's here. If they want to collect, it's Royal Mail's property. If they want to collect, which I think they will, they're better to be somewhere else than here. That's just being greedy. So Royal Mail, come and collect the Yorks. You can see the sacks at the bottom, and you can see exactly how many... Is that all they're sending? No. They're not even cable tied or tagged. They're not even tagging them for you. They're not even tagging the bags for you. They're not even tagging the bags for you. Oh, they have tagged it. International. Not much though, is there? Just one per stop. <laughs> so there we have it on a typical day. Just one per stop being collected right just there with hardly anything in it. The rest is international post. <laughs> One! It's called a purse stop. The box. <laughs> so they want to keep that many Yorks on hand, that many purse stops, and that many sacks on hand, just in case they get a big job and they want them available so that they can fulfill the order. That's my theory anyway. And Menzies distribution is now fully loaded. We're gonna move on. We'll leave them alone here. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. I'm just doing my outro. I tell everybody to give me a thumbs up. Are you gonna, know when you watch it, are you gonna give it a thumbs up? Yeah, thank you. Hey, do you want a key ring? No, thank you. I, honestly. I've not spoke to many of your staff, just uh, I approached one of your staff actually today, the rest have all approached me. I'll give you a key ring if you want. Oh, sorry, okay. you, but I'm off now anyway, have a nice day. Job like you're doing your job. I agree, I'm off. <laughs>